Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today at Entire Parents, we're going to be taking a look on Entitled Pregnant Moms. Also, don't forget, we're running a giveaway at 10,000 subs of five $30 gift certificates of your choice. There is also a possibility I'm also going to be giving away one PS4 or Xbox One at 10,000 subscribers. The only thing for you to be eligible to win is hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up or down, and let's go on with the show. You can just throw a stranded pregnant mother and her toddler at 3 a.m. in the cold. Oh yes, I freaking can. Buckle up everyone for this bump ride. Okay, so I was still in my living room around 3 a.m. playing some video games. My parents are out of town visiting some friends and I decided to stay home. House to myself and all. So here I am, in nothing but a prime penny, when there's a knock at the door. What the hell? I think to myself, so I scramble to get my clothes on and answer the door. It was a family acquaintance with her already whiny little brat. She also visibly pregnant, and we'll get to why that part's important later. Hey you, what's going on? My car broke down and tow company can't come get my car until tomorrow. Think me and my little brat can crash here tonight? Sure, you guys can sleep in the living room. I let them in. Want something to eat or drink? Coffee if it's not up in trouble. Sure, no problem. So I go to make some coffee when I see the little brat picking up my controller. Hey little guy, please put it down. Oh, he can't play a game? No, I'm the mute of something, plus he wouldn't know how to play the type of game. But he really wants to play, don't you little brat? I want to play! No, you can't play. I want to play, I want to play, I want to play, yeah! Throws the freaking controller at the TV, shattering the screen. What the hell? I rush to the TV. Hey, don't you swear at my child. You just freaking let him destroy my TV like this. You're the one who didn't let him play the video game. I said no. And you have to teach your little brat that he isn't allowed anything. How dare you! Just wait until I tell your mother how you treated him. You make a terrible mom. I'm not having kids. But if I did, I wouldn't let them be spoiled like this little brat. You're being a little brat right now. Just get a new TV and quit whining. Yeah? I'll get a new TV with the money you pay for the broken TV. What? But you're the one who instigated, you little brat. You know what? Just get the hell out of my house. You and your little brat are no longer welcome in my house. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm pregnant and I have a toddler and I have nowhere to go. You can just kick out a stranded pregnant mother and her toddler at 3 a.m. in the cold. Oh yes, I can, you insufferable you. Get the hell out of my house before I call the cops. Her picking up her breath and heading towards the door. Just wait until I tell your mother about this. Yeah, I'll gladly tell her about your little brat did to the TV and you refuse to pay for it. You regret this, and leaves. The next morning, I called my parents and explained what happened. They're very understanding because I was never raised to be like this, and she got an earful from my mom that if she didn't pay back, we would take her to small claims. She tried to play the, oh, wow, I'm a single pregnant mother, blah, blah, blah stuff, but it didn't work, and she forked over the 500 for a new TV and we cut contact with her. Added, in case anyone else was wondering, the reason Breeder and her brat were out at 3 a.m. was because the little brat demanded McDonald's and refused to go to bed unless he got that. I'm more pregnant than you, but you still deserve my expecting mom spot and my ticket to the baby show? 
Obligatory. First post and on a cell phone warning. I originally posted this on r slash entitled beach and someone told me it might also belong here. My mother-in-law drove me everywhere when I was pregnant because I didn't drive yet. I was very pregnant during the summer and not being used to the heat as it is, I was really struggling. So one day we went to a sort of show at a center where they sold baby clothes and toys and tech and some stuff like that new and used for cheap. The show ran for three days, but the first day was only open to expecting parents who got tickets either by sponsor parent groups, OBGYNs, etc. My mother-in-law knew a few of the runners from her nursing days, told them her daughter-in-law, me, was pregnant, and so got us in day one. There were some mom and child spots and some expecting mom spots, and they were all in the same front end of the lot. So of course, it being 30 degrees Celsius out and being pregnant, we chose the expecting mom spots. One lady pulled up behind our car, my mother-in-law thought nothing of it, and got out to pay for a ticket so we could go. This lady, who didn't even look pregnant at all, got out of the car and went up to my mother-in-law, blessing her for taking a spot that she obviously didn't need and told her to move so she could have it. My mother-in-law looked her up and down and said, well, you don't look pregnant yourself. And this woman goes, I'm two months pregnant, thank you very much. Mother-in-law just rolls her eyes and takes her ticket and comes back to the car. She pops it on the dashboard and tells me to come out. All the while, this entitled mom goes off and off at her to let her take the spot and stop being so selfish. Just out I pop. Stomach so big I could literally be used as a beach ball. Top bigger than me to cover it. An ankle so wide I made Aunt Marge look small after Harry made her a balloon. And the entitled mom just looks at me with disgust. I smile at her and close the door and slowly walk with my mother-in-law. I'm waddling as I'm a freaking bubbler well and titled mom speed walks ahead of us, smirking. About five minutes later, we enter the hall and behold the almighty entitled mom standing in front of us, having a freak out. I didn't catch the start of the conversation, but we walked in her saying, But I'm pregnant. I should be allowed in. Front lady asks, I'm sorry, ma'am. You don't have a ticket to the show for today. We're open to the public tomorrow if you'd like to come back then. I'm here today. I want to attend today. All the other moms are allowed in. I know, but they all got tickets. I'm sorry, but you have to come back tomorrow or Thursday. My mother-in-law can see that I'm struggling to stand, so she goes to front lady desk, flashes our tickets, and let us through. Huh, <laughs> how come they got in? They have tickets. Well, take their tickets and give one to me. She points to my mother-in-law, not even pregnant. I'm not going to do that, ma'am. Why not? I deserve to be here. I'm about to be a single mom. This is absolute discrimination. I wasn't feeling great at this point. Baby Well started to hiccup and kick a lot and it made me feel queasy. So we waddled walked away to grab a water and snacks, but I could hear the entitled mom yelling still. Something about how unfair it is that single moms without connections always get the short straw or whatever. Needless to say that she wasn't letting. But Baby Well got some awesome stuff, and Mama Well got herself a few treats too. Entitled Mom haven't worked for four weeks due to maternity, and is surprised when she gets no sympathy coming back. Not sure if it applies, but here it goes. Sorry if it's a little long, TLDR at bottom. Backstory. Governor gave everyone eight weeks maternity leave. Entitled Mom took extra. Before Entitled Mom left for maternity leave, she would leave about two hours into her shift to meet clients, who routinely skipped out on the meetings. She would brag to everyone, including our supervisor, that she would just go home afterwards, because she hated working. P.S. She's the most recent hire. Fortunately or unfortunately, 
because we work for the state, it's incredibly difficult to get fired, so there wasn't much our supervisor could do about it. Everyone was complaining because we're a small office and we needed all the help we could get. I came up with what I thought was an elegant solution. Everyone would take a Friday that they were required to be in the office so that everyone could potentially have a Friday off. Everyone else liked this idea, especially our supervisor and it became a thing. Entitled mom did not. She complained because she had kids and activities to do with them on Friday. Everyone in the office, except for me and one other, have children, so this didn't fly. When a calendar is passed around for everyone to take a Friday, Entitled Mom schedules herself for one Friday right in the middle of her maternity leave. Supervisor saw and had her change, so she was required to work the Friday after she got back from maternity. From the time Entitled Mom was in her second trimester, she continually reminded everyone she was going out for four months maternity and not to bother her. She finally left for maternity and our supervisor and I took over her cases. Entitled mom got back last week and decided that she was going to take it easy. She refused to answer any of her calls or emails from clients who then called me since I had been handling everything for four months. This week, she started her old stuff again by leaving after two hours to meet with clients. Today, Wednesday, Entitled Mom realized that this was her first Friday that required her to be in the office all day. She immediately scheduled as many clients as she could outside the office, claiming that our supervisor said that she only needed to be there from 3 to 5. I would have believed her if not for the fact that she scheduled an hour-long meeting at 3.32. Entitled Mom then proceeded to complain to me that it's not fair since she just came back and has to catch up on so much. Titled Mom said that she looked at everyone else's calendar and they're in the office so she shouldn't have to stay on Friday. I told her to maybe send an email around to see if someone will switch with her. Instead, Entitled Mom decides to corner our co-workers one by one to try to convince them to take Friday because one of her entitled kids had a karate session at 4.30 and she really doesn't want to miss it. Entitled mom really wanted it sorted today because she's also taking tomorrow off. P.S. Entitled mom also mentioned that she's thinking of having a fourth because she really liked having so much time off. TLDR. Entitled mom takes four months of work then doesn't want to work her required enough stay when she gets back. Entitled Mom is surprised to find that no one's sympathetic. Hey guys, I hope you guys liked today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or down. Leave a comment. I always answer my comments. And hit the notification bell sign so you can see new videos every other day coming up in this channel. Thank you very much and I hope you guys have a great end of this day. Goodbye.